Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gerard Luat, owner and witch of Earth's Curious Goods. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do a binding spell. So if you're new around these parts, don't forget to subscribe. Um, subscribing helps me make newer videos. I'm hoping to get some more um, equipment to make these videos even better quality. So yeah, then hit that like button so that others can also see this video as well. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so we're gonna need a few things. Permanent marker, a jar. You're gonna need five pieces of black string. Um, yarn will work, a sewing thread, but um, five pieces. And then a very long piece of um, black thread or black yarn, um, but make sure that it's black. Um, you can't use red, you can't use blue or yellow, make sure it's black, okay? Because we're doing a binding spell today, okay? And then you're gonna take um, your piece of paper um, and then you're going to um, basically draw, cut out a, well draw first, you're gonna draw first a image of like, um, like a person. Um, and, and then you're gonna cut it out. Um, as you can tell, I've already done the cutting out part to save some time. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write the first and last name of the person that we're binding. Um, if you don't know their last name, that's perfectly fine, but um, you will need to put their name on this, okay? So, of course, I'm not doing this on anyone, so I'm just putting John Doe, okay? So, it should look like that. Okay. So, after you write the name of the person that we're binding, we're going to put an X over it. Okay? So, it should look like that. You've got the name on there. We're going to go ahead and hold the image um, in your two hands and you're going to imagine the person, what they look like, how you feel, all those feelings you're gonna put into this piece of paper, okay? See it coming out of you, going through your hands and into this paper, okay? Into this image of this person. Um, now, you can have all the materials, you can do all the things um, that I've, I've told you, but without intention, without feeling behind what you're doing, the spell will have no effect. So it's super important that you put your intentions into it. Think of it like cooking, right? When you're making a cake, um, you have the recipe in front of you. Um, you just put all the ingredients together, you're not really paying attention. You kind of just throw it into the oven. Um, and then at the end, you're, you don't really have cake. You might have like mush or you might have a half a cake. So it's super important. Um, so with this spell that you really put some intention to it, that you really concentrate, okay? See the person's face. See how they made you feel. Um, see how you just don't feel protected feel how they are making you you know not happy um, put all of those emotions into this image okay hold it with your hand see it see all of those feelings going into it see this becoming it imagine their face onto this okay so I'm imagining John Doe onto this image and with this and you'll just say, this image is now the mind, body, and soul of John Doe. This image is now the mind, body, and soul of John Doe. This image is now the mind, body, and soul of John Doe. There we go. Now you're gonna take those five pieces of string that I told you about and we're gonna start with one of the arms and we're going to tie a knot around it, okay? And as you're doing so, before you finish off that knot, you're going to say, a binding now is happening. I bind you, John Doe. Uh -huh. So we got the first knot. A binding is now happening. I bind you, John Doe. 
So we're gonna go ahead and bind the legs. I bind you, John. A binding is now. A binding is now happening. I bind you, John Doe. The third bond. And you're gonna bind the other leg. A binding is now happening. I bind you, John Doe. The fourth bond. And then the last one's gonna be around the neck. A binding. A binding is now happening. A binding is now happening. I bind you, John Doe. And the fifth knot. Okay. So at the very end, it should look like that. So there should be a knot on the arms, the legs, and the neck. Now it's super important that when you tie these knots that you imagine them being binded, that they are no longer being able to harm themselves or others around them. No longer able to harm you, no longer to harm your loved ones, okay? Super important though that also for this spell, you're doing it, you've done all the mundane things, you've done all the, the natural way of doing things, you've tried to, you know, make sure that they stay away from you here on this plane. And now we're gonna use this binding spell. That's what this binding spell is for, to spiritually now make them leave you alone. Make them be binded, no longer a concern, okay? Now you're gonna take your um, you're gonna take your long string. Okay, it doesn't have to be cut off. I just cut it off for time's sake, but it could be still attached if it's yarn or something of that nature. You could keep it in the bundle. But now you're going to begin to wrap it around them. Okay, at the waist area. So hopefully you can see that I'm starting at the waist. Okay. And you tie the final knot around the waist. A binding is now happening. I bind you, John Doe. Okay. And now you're going to just tie it around, see all of your anger and frustration, your sadness going into this. See them being binded. Put it all in soon as you're going around like like right now I feel chills running through my arm I'm so glad I'm not really doing this on anyone <laughs> but I can feel it being binded more and more no longer able to do harm no longer in my life no longer able to harm themselves or others okay so at the end, you may have something that looks like this. Yours may be even more, you know, tied up, but as you can tell, it's all tied up. Now that's where your jar is gonna come in handy. You don't have to put it into the jar. If, if you don't have a jar, that's okay. Um, you can also use a Ziploc bag, something to put them in or contain them. Um, if you don't have any of those things, it's fine to just keep it like this. Just keep it hidden like in the bottom of a drawer or somewhere, a bottom of a shoe box, okay? You don't want this um, to be found by anyone. You definitely don't want your pets to get to it so if you do have like dogs like I do like I have a dog um, I would not keep this anywhere where um, my dog can actually get to it and tear it up or anything of that nature <laughs> you don't want that okay so now we're just going to place them into the jar and if you want to intensify this spell here's a little secret um, you could put glass in here, some thorns, um, that would also be really well. Rocks would also do really well, um, but you can put that in there for time's sake. I'm not going to um, put that into this jar, um, but that would also intensify it to bind them, to stop them from moving against you or your loved ones or themselves, okay? cap the jar um, now you have a few options um, for me um, I usually place this into the freezer but um, for some of you you may not be that may not be very convenient to um, place it in the freezer maybe you have roommates maybe you have other people so I would just put this in the back of a closet like I said somewhere safe somewhere where pets um, can't get to it um, also where um, you're not going to um, have others stumble across it as well okay so you'll keep this um, handy until A, um, you feel like uh, you want to release them. Then of course you're going to take it out of here um, and you're going to release all the knots, okay? And that's to release the spell. Um, if it has run its course as well, um, you may want to go ahead and um, untie the knots as well. If you feel like, um, you know, they're no longer near you and the spell is done its 
job, um, then that could also be another way. Maybe you had second thoughts, uh, you could go ahead and also unrelease it that way. Um, if not, if you're um, worried that they may, um, you know, still harm you or maybe your loved ones, um, you could also uh, take it out of the jar and bury it into the earth already tied up to make the spell a little bit more complete um, and to maintain the strength of it. Um, of course, with um, bindings like this one, this is a very simple one. Um, you may have to redo it um, maybe after a year. I noticed that um, it does um, weaken a little like it's not like where that person can actually really affect you a lot um, but uh, maybe if you are a little worried or maybe your situation is a little bit more intense you can also redo the spell after a year okay but definitely let it let it do its course in that span of that year don't um, try to redo the spell in that year's time in a whole um, lunar cycle in a whole year's time that goes by after a year then you can go ahead and redo the spell if that makes sense i hope that if you um, stumbled across this video and this is something that you have to do i hope you find peace um, and i hope this brings happiness to your life and safety um, for you so love and light um, yes and comment down below um, if you've done this spell or if you have a spell like it um, I would love to hear about it um, or um, if you do do this spell uh, let me know kind of the results um, I always love to see how my spells work in other people's uh, paths and lives so. well I hope you liked today's video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing helps me make more videos and hopefully upgrade my equipment in the future. Um, it'll help me accomplish my dream of eventually opening a physical location and make these videos seen and hopefully get my videos monetized in the future. Um, it would mean the world to me. Um, but uh, no pressure if you don't. Um, have a beautiful day. Remember to love yourself and others. Bye for now.